video, I'm going to show you how I take $25 and turn this into to this. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. On the video today, I wanted to change out my balances. I feel like they're dark and heavy. I just decided I wanted to show you how I update these. And literally, I bought $20 worth of, it was like $23 worth of fabric. And I'm gonna completely transform these. This is the fabric I bought because I wanted something brighter. And when I bought it, I wasn't thinking about these curtains being darker and so now it makes them look dingy so my first attempt is i'm going to try to bleach these because these are just painter tarps that i cut in half and put a rod pocket in the top and i use the natural seam on all the other corners i love these curtains and i don't want to change out my curtains so my first thing that I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take all the curtains down and I'm going to put them in bleach and let them sit. I did have like some extra of this fabric in the house of the curtains that I did up in the bedroom. It's a little bit different on the fabric, but it's not like a ton different and it did lighten it pretty good bit. This is a little more delicate fabric, so I'm hoping that it's going to lighten it even more. Well, I'm going to do that first. Well, if that doesn't work, then I'm going to go buy some gray writ dye and I'm going to dye them all gray, like a lot gray. But at first, I would rather have them bleached out. I'd rather them be lighter before I try to go to the gray because I like the way they look. But this was the fabric that I found that I absolutely love, so I've got to try to make it work. But worst case scenario is I may have to buy some writ dye and put on these and dye them gray. I think this fabric is pretty and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do this. I'm gonna pull all these down. I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in some bleach. Let that be working while I take the rest of the balances down. We're gonna remove this piece here and just leave the smaller balance up at the top. It's gonna be super easy and you can do it too. I'm gonna go pour some bleach in there and then we're gonna start taking down the balances. So you have a, so what you have to do is there's a screw up there that you have to screw out. There's two brackets holding it on. So once you unscrew those screws, then it just comes right off. And then when you put it back, you just screw it back to that bracket. So let me get up in here. It's not hard, it's just hard to see. And don't drop your screw. <laughs> and if you can't see your screw, the blind on mine slides over because you got where you can't see your uh, the screw so this one's different i took one down over there just to see how it came down and it came down real easy this one doesn't have two brackets this one is just screwed up to this so i'm having to get to those i had to see how it was attached
the blind is attached to this one. Don't want to lose my screw. Alright, so this one, <laughs> the blind is attached to it. So I'm going to have to pop the blind. I'm not going to have to pop the blind off of it. But the blind is attached to this one, which is different than the other ones that I've done. That it may probably be attached to that one as well, since that one is screwed to that. Let me go over here and see what this one's like. Really need a longer screw gun. All right, I think that one is loose. Now I'm just gonna unscrew this other side. This is hard. Yay! Woo. I feel like this is gonna be the hardest part of this is unscrewing them all. And I'm just keeping these, I'm trying to put the screws and the actual on, the awning part by the window that they are going to. All right, let me finish all these and then uh, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get them ready to start covering them. All right, so I got them all off. You had to be extortionist, is that the word I'm looking for? It was a little difficult. What I wanna do is I wanna take this off because I don't, I just want this top piece on there. And this bottom, if you can see, it just pops right off. So that piece is done and it's gone. All that leaves us with is the piece that I want to recover, which is going to be pretty, pretty easy. I say that and then it's going to fall apart. I'm going to kind of show you and talk you through how I recover this um, over here. So what I've done is I have cut a piece of fabric. Now I'm going to have to say that one with lines on it is going to be easier just because it's going to be easier to line everything up and cut even but I mean it doesn't have to be so if you see it's uh I've cut it a little bit longer than what I need and like okay so you want it to make sure it covers and tucks up under this because you need that to cover you just need to make sure that your piece covers everything like this and it tucks and then you've got to make sure you have enough in the back to tuck up under there just a little bit so you just want to make sure you have enough that you can be able to tuck and lip and you're going to staple it from the back side but you just want to make sure that's enough i need to go probably get the iron and iron this out i probably could pull it and tuck it but it would just be easier if it's already ironed out. So I'm gonna go grab an iron real quick to uh, take out these. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your line is straight across here. You want to make sure your line is straight. And that's why I feel like doing a plaid or something is so much easier to do because you can follow that line to make sure you're square. You're going to do the inside, this inside first, and then we're going to pull this tight and then we're going to staple this side next.
we're gonna wrap the sides. It's gonna be kind of like a little package. There you go. I was having a hard time with the staple gun. It wasn't wanting this staple gun. I kind of hate it because it has like a little safety mechanism in there that you have to push in to be able to snap it and it kept jumping. And there it is. It is done. Kind of, you're gonna make it look like a package on the sides. All right, that one is done. I am so excited. It is gonna look so cool. I can't wait and looks like the curtains are lightening up some so I'm hoping those are gonna work great but I'm gonna go ahead and bust out some more of these and get them all put up I just kind of wanted to show you but it's kind of like you're wrapping a package on the side taking these out is easy but you need to um, watch your fingers there has been blood drawn during this process they have about 50 billion staples in there and I promise one of them will get you. Now I'm going to show you a little trick on the ones that have the blinds that stay in them. If you have this model where you have blinds that don't come out of the corners, the balances to get these out because the rest of them you pull in the middle and then it just all comes out once you pull. But this one you can't keep pulling because the blind is in the way. So what I do is I take and take a screwdriver or something and you have to pry that in there to get that to come loose. And then once you get one side out and you can get the staples coming out, it comes straight out. It's easy. But I had to figure out how to pry this open the first time. On the big one, I was like, oh my gosh. I thought I'd show y'all how to do that. Let's talk about the curtains that I bleached. All of them look amazing. They're way lighter, super lighter. <laughs> Two of them didn't make it. This panel and this panel, and I don't know where they go. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if the bleach was just too much for these <laughs> or what. So. I'm going to finish everything that I can today after those other ones in, but um, uh, these, uh, I had two casualties in my curtains, so I'm going to have to order two, order just one painter's tarp. That's all it takes is one painter's tarp, because what I do is I order one painter's tarp, and then I use the hem that comes with them on the sides and the bottom, and then I just put in a hem, a pocket hem up at the top for the, um, the panel and I, I'm really kind of wondering if these are the ones that go over the uh, that go over my desk because where our camper sits the Sun just beats on that side and I'm I'm thinking that these were probably already the Sun may have already uh, had some issues with them <laughs> but anyway well they turned out white and they're gonna be pretty Except I gotta do that to two more, make them work. Uh, there's always a learning curve for something. All right, I've got one more to uh, to do, and then I'm gonna finish screwing these in. <laughs> I think that it so has changed the way this looks. I think it looks great, and the curtains are not totally white, but they're way more white than they were. Let me finish this one. <laughs> Oh, you're learning with me. I'm gonna order another tarp. I hope they have them. Oh, 
One more thing about the blinds that are here. This piece is so high up here. You, it, you have a little bitty spot to staple here. And then I just took a little flathead screwdriver and pushed the fabric up underneath it just to hold it. Cause I didn't want to try to cut it and I didn't want it to see it. So it just holds it up in there. All right, I'm fixing to uh, screw these uh, blinds up and then hopefully the uh, curtains will be dry here in a minute and then we'll be finished with this project. Well, I'll still have to make another set of curtains. Oh, I hate that, but it is what it is. And these up under the cabinets, they're screwed to the cabinets. This one has one bracket and then it's screwed to the cabinet on that side. a lot of people ask about these curtains so I was going to kind of show you see it's on a tension rod and I bought the painters tarps and then this is a natural hem this is a natural hem and this is a natural hem so it's as wide as what the painter tarp was and then I just threw a pocket rod across the top to hold the tension rod and then you just throw these up here yep, have to make this bigger. tension rod a little bigger because I took out that one little section but I just push the tension rod up above the blinds put some curtains in there make sure the blinds still work and uh, those turned out beautiful me bleaching them I cannot can't imagine the difference in color. The only thing is, is I'm trying to figure out what curtains go where, cause <laughs> I am in love. All right, I'm gonna finish up real quick and then uh, we're gonna do a little quick tour. And as far as I can tell, it looks like the block, the curtains that were above the uh, desk are the ones that were, I think the sun just dry rotted them. They've been up there for about three years and I guess I need to keep that blind pulled down because the sun stays on them. Even here and the hunting club, that window is the one that always got the sun. All right, I'm gonna finish sticking these up and then I'll be right back with you. All right, I am in love how this has turned out. These is super cute. This was super easy. I was afraid of doing these because it had the little extra piece, but those came out really easy. The hardest part of this project was trying to get the screws screwed out and screwed back in because of the awkward position and you can't really see up in there really good. I love how the uh, bleaching of the curtains turned out, even though there was a catastrophe. They had been up there for three years, so I guess the sun probably had dry rotted those. I, I, I'm speechless how much I'm in love with this. Bill's like, what's wrong with the valances? They're ugly and brown. I want to fix them. <laughs> Or to me, they're ugly and brown. <laughs> I just wanted to lighten up the space. I bought $25 worth, of, $25 worth of fabric, so it was two and a half yards, and I did all this, and then I just have a few little scrap pieces left. But that's how much it took for me to do ours. I hope this inspires you that you can change out your balances because it is super easy, and like I said, for $25, I have totally changed the way the camper looks. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. Also, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you hit that bell, it'll notify you next time I upload a video. We are about to head to Destin, and we have some 
fun, exciting things to do while we're there, and we're gonna share those with you. If you're not already, go join our Instagram account. There, sometimes you will get some live updates. I'm not real, real good with Instagram, but I'm trying to be better. I'm trying. All right, I enjoyed doing this video for y'all and showing you how this is done. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Till next time, like and subscribe.